Oh. That counts. I had it in the net. Yeah, we all saw. I would have caught it. <laughs> I'd say he's the winner so far. I would say so. Let's get him back in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Wrong way, buddy. Wrong way, other way. There's a campsite not far from here, so we can pull in there and wait for the storm to pass. So it's the morning of day two of our four-day trip. We're here at Hallsbrook. We're with RJ and Kayla. This is their first time down the St. Croix. It's also their first time running rapids in a canoe. So on top of everything going on yesterday, I was giving them a crash course on the way down through the river here. Uh, it was an interesting day yesterday. I flipped for the first time in a long time. Oh, the red flowers growing on the bank up there. Like. Right on the set of rapids to the right, look at all the red flowers. And the worst part is, it was on completely calm water, and it was my own fault, because I wasn't paying attention. I was looking around, talking, looking at flowers and stuff. And I got sideways against a rock, and over I went. Uh, we also encountered a thunderstorm yesterday, and then after that, it rained pretty hard for a while, and it was pretty cold rain. So by the time we got to the campsite here yesterday and got stuff dried off and set up, there wasn't really a whole lot worth filming. We've been hanging out here though this morning. It's a beautiful morning now. I think there's supposed to be great weather for the rest of the trip. Uh, we're going to hang around here a little while longer, then we're going to move down to Little Falls and scope that out, and then we're going to move on to Duck Point, which is hopefully empty, and stay there for a few days. Get a little friend along for the ride here. How's the water? Awesome. It's like bath water. Nice. 
We're gonna be way lighter going home. Yeah, two for a beer. up to day three now. We arrived here at our campsite at Duck Point yesterday around six o'clock. We set up camp, had some supper, watched the sun go down. Uh, there's also a meteor shower the three nights that we're out here, so we got treated to a nice view of that last night. I'm hoping for a repeat performance of that tonight. We fished for a bit earlier today. RJ hooked a couple. I only got one. I was able to get some pretty cool underwater footage of a couple small bass though, so that was pretty cool. We've just been chilling around the campsite for most of the day here today. We played a few games. We played a game of Yahtzee. We also played some Trouble and a game of Shoots and Ladders. We had fire-baked pizza from the reflector oven last night, which was so good. And I'm looking forward to supper again tonight because it's uh, shepherd's pie. There are going to be mini shepherd's pie in the reflector oven. I say mini because the pan that we planned on baking them in, or baking it in rather, is the only thing I actually managed to lose when I flipped on the first day. But luckily I do have a backup. Yeah, so we need we need 10 more bass in two and a half hours tomorrow to hit 50, so that's the goal tomorrow. You got 40 so far. 40 so far, yeah. 40 I've got in the boat. More than that, that got away, but we're not going to talk about those ones, they don't count. Nice. <laughs>
It's a little past lunchtime on day four now. We've got everything mostly packed up. We're getting ready to say goodbye to this site for another trip. RJ wants to get up to 50 fish before we get out, so we'll probably take this next stretch of river a little slower than we normally do. So that little guy right there puts you two at 50 combined between the two of you for this trip. Four days, 50 fish. <laughs> 